everyone, Kelly here. Um, I'm going to be doing a September favourites. Um, I have filmed this already once, so I am really, really, really annoyed at the moment. Um, today it took three hours to upload, and when I uploaded it, it was all fuzzy, the sound. I'm doing it again now. Um, I'm going to try and rush it through because I want it up. Um, I won't be able to film on the weekend because I'm going for a, um, a ghost walk tomorrow and staying away for the weekend. So, um, I'll get straight on to it. The first thing is, um, I've been, where's it gone? Where have I put that? So I'm all over the place now. Um, I do not know where I have put it, but I have, oh I put it somewhere, I don't know where I put it, um, bath wise my shower gel I've been using, I thought that was it for a minute then but it's the no drought, I've been using my Go shower gel from Lush which I absolutely adore, um, I'm running really low on it um, but I've been really loving that. Um, this month. Also, um, a hand cream I've been using this month is a Liz Hurl hand repair. Sorry if this is going to be rushed, but I haven't got much time. Um, the next thing is a blusher, and it is a sleek one, the new nude one, and it is called Suede, and it looks like this. Real, real nice, pretty colour. And bronzer, I've been using my, gone back to my Hoola from Benefit. Um, I've had this now for like two years. No, sorry, a year, sorry. And there's quite a bit still left in there and a good value for money. I know they're quite expensive, but they do last a long time. So that's a Hoola by Benefit. Um... Lipstick, I've been using the Topshop one in Desert, um, which looks like that gorgeous orangey nude colour. Um, lip balm, I've been using my Maple Taffy um, by Lush, which I adore. They're not bringing it out this year. But I've got quite a few still left anyway. Um, the next thing is lip gloss, a Barry M1. It's a limit, not the limited edition one. It's the, it's number two, and it's the toffee one. It smells of toffee. It's just got the the doofer on there. It smells of toffee and tastes of toffee. Um, the next thing, the mascara I've been using is the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara Cat's Eyes. It's this one I've shown you before with the wand that's like that. Um, the next thing, concealer, same as always, In Fair Collection 2001, where it's all rubbed off. Um, eyelid primer, I've been using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's a highlighter. I've been using this, which is called Baked Highlighter from Primark. It was only a pound, but I find this is really, really gorgeous and very good for the price. It's a lovely highlighter. Really, really nice. Um, next thing I've been using is the NYC Smooth Skin Face Powder, um, which looks like this. Can't tip up too much because it all fall out. Now I'm going to choke when it closes. Um, but yeah, really, really loving this powder. A palette I've been using is I always, always use my uh, Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And I thought I get all these sleek palettes and I don't use them. I keep going back to the Urban Decay uh, Naked Palette. So I've been using my. The nude, not the nude, is the nude, yeah, the nude collection, all natural, sleek palette. 
colours are here. And I have been really enjoying using this this month. Yeah. And then the next thing I run out of my Naughty Alice perfume, which I'm so sad about because I absolutely adore it. So this month I've been using my Calvin Klein Beauty. It smells absolutely gorgeous too. And then the next thing is the Garnier um, Skin Miracle Perfector, the BB Cream. Um, I can't get enough of this. I absolutely adore this. Um, I got mine in shade 1 or fair. I can't remember what it was now. They do it in like one two three or they do it in fair light medium um but i got mine in the lightest um and it looks like this and smells absolutely gorgeous um the only thing is you do need concealer with this but um what i do is i put this on then use a concealer and then i would go and put my NYC um, uh, loose face powder on um, so it's not doesn't look like so um, like dewy um, but with this I find I do not need a foundation all I've been using is this concealer and then the face powder um, the next thing is the only thing annoying is about that concealer is it gets everywhere it's over everything here oh dear it's all over to see i don't know what no why but it always does it it's so irritating it gets over everything that's a good concealer though <laughs> um anyway i'll stop doing that now um the next thing is my tangle teaser um here it is, I got the purple one. I know I only got it the weekend, um, but I got the purpley one, the sparkles in. And as you can see, it's got like the long ones and then short bristles in between, if you can see that. They are really, really soft. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And when you are using this, um, when I um, wash my hair, um, when my hair is wet, it's so hard to comb through. And I, every time you comb it through with all the pugs, I pull loads and loads of hair out. Um, but with this, I tried this, not yesterday, the day before, on my wet hair after I washed it. And it didn't tug at my head, it didn't pull loads of hairs out. Of course you're going to get some hair in here but it didn't as much as it would in a normal brush um, it didn't hurt plus it's it also massages your head um, so that's going to stimulate um, new hair growth um, but yeah I am really 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 loving this um, just to show you I am going to back comb a little piece of my hair here now and I'm just going to show you, ow, sorry about my jumper by the way, this is my house jumper for today, it's green, um, I can't be bothered to get changed again, um, but make that really really puggy, there you go, nice look hey, um, so now with the brush, the think of the word the the bristles um facing up so if you can see that would be the be them facing down don't really, you can really see with that being facing up you're going to put it on your head you're not going to go like smoothly and lightly you have to put quite a lot of pressure well not a lot of pressure but you have to put pressure on it and you go down and that it doesn't hurt one bit at all get some out it doesn't hurt and then as you can see here now it is smooth and there's no pugs 
and as you can see there is just one hair in this here oh sorry two hairs and that's it from all that that comb in them I did um, I'm just going to do the rest of my hair now um, but it's really really nice and really really easy and also I find like when I brush my hair after I've blow dried it um, it goes really 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 static and also in the mornings when I wake up when I brush my hair it goes really really static so I to end up washing it um, but with this it doesn't it just leaves your hair really really shiny I don't know how well that is showing but it's really 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 shiny it's absolutely gorgeous um, and then that's all my favorites um, but today I had this package and it has got a pair of boots in that I ordered off eBay um, it's from Hong Kong I think It. Yeah, it's from Hong Kong, um, and they have also got a website, and it's www.meandshoes.com. You can see there, um, and I got a pair of boots. Um, I think these were thirty pounds. Um, just get the one out. Um, it's like inside there's like furry if you can see there it's so so nice and warm and then the top they have got this so it's like a cowboy boot really if you guess what I'm saying and then they go all the way and then there is the heel um, so it's really really nice and they come up past your knee um, so this bit is does go over your knee this bit here um, and what I also like about these is if you wanted to you could scratch them down I can't do it without having them on but you can scrunch them down and then they just look like a pair of proper cowboy boots um, but I really really love these and I'm so glad I've got these I absolutely adore them they are gorgeous I don't know if it's catching up but they are brown um, well that is everything um, I'm going to Lush on Saturday Saturday or Sunday so in the week I will have a haul for you with all the Christmas stuff well not all the Christmas stuff some of the Christmas stuff that I've picked up over the weekend um, and that is it so thank you for watching oh please 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 if you haven't already subscribe up there um, please rate and I'm so sorry this was really really rushed um, but I've got no time and I really, really wanted it up. Um, any questions or anything, just comment below and I will get back to you. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.